have the head football coach, Kalani Satake, in studio. But first, tomorrow night, and I wonder if Kalani will be there. We'll talk to him. He was there Saturday. Men's basketball versus St. Mary's. Huge game for BYU. 9 Eastern time on BYU TV and BYU Radio. I don't blame you if you're not, though, because signing the signing <laughs> class is over. And if you take time off, that's totally cool. I want to be there. I mean, I, I the, the bat, last time I was in the Marriott Center, that was awesome. It was, it was a cool feeling. And I, I get I get into it too much, though. You can hear a lot more in the in Marriott Center, especially when you're sitting that close, giving it to the other guys, you know. <laughs> I, I blame myself for, for urging uh, Emery to shoot a three-pointer because the other guy was talking. I was like, just shoot it. Shoot it. Just show him. And he, he made it, so I, I should be coaching, you know. <laughs> Clearly. Basketball. basketball. Yeah. yeah. Paging it's Dave Rose. easy. Just shoot it, right? That's, that's an easy job. <laughs> can you we, know, t- can we talk Rose about Coach does a great job. But, yeah, I, I, I'm not going to be at the game because uh, – I have to go to Oregon and, and um, move the family back, which I'm excited to do because I, I miss them. So, yeah, get the family back over here in Provo and uh, get to the next game. Been a long six weeks for sure yeah. uh, out recruiting. Let's talk about Saturday for a second. You you talk at halftime. You give a speech there. What was that like? Because that reception was something else. Yeah, it was it was actually an, an emotional part for me because I was standing there and, and they were, you know they did the highlight and then they introduced the whole staff and – just watching all the guys go out there and just seeing them in the middle of the court was like, it was really good for me to see. And it's just, I just, I got kind of emotional, you know, but um, I tried not to, I didn't, I didn't think that would be a good time to break down and cry in front of the whole, the whole, all the fans, <laughs> but um, it just, the, the overwhelming support is just awesome, you know, and then it just shows how strong Cougar Nation is and, and the fans and the support. And so, yeah, I just had to gather my thoughts and, and, and uh, tell them how thankful we are as a football program and a team and coaches and and uh, just really excited about the fans that we have because they're the difference. I mean, they're, they're the, they are the X factor and they're the, they're the difference. They've been doing it for decades and looking forward to having them be a huge strength for us this fall. A staff that dabs together wins together. Yeah, right? it, wasn't, it wasn't. I don't think I kind of I kind of messed it up because I didn't tell them that it was going to happen, you know, but I think if you just – Everyone does it now, but I guess it'll go old with just like the Roger Rabbit and all the other moves. That <laughs> I don't even know what moves that is. The Cabbage, the no cabbage Patch. I know. Oh, the, yeah, I'm with I, you. I used to yeah, dance, know you know. Yeah, yeah. I don't look like it, but uh, about 150 <laughs> pounds ago, I used to dance. Yeah. So I, I know a little bit of what's going on. It was a solid dab. We're seeing the dab on the TV side of this. This is great. And then the Shaka sign as well, the Y and yeah. the dab. And boom. Just want to make sure that, uh, you know, we, we've had a sign for – for forever i mean that's the, that's the why in sign language and we're gonna rep it so we'd like to see everyone wear the the royal and navy but that's our we own the blue that's that's our deal especially if it has a why on it but you always got a why with you no matter where you go kalani satake the head coach at byu with us in studio b it's national signing day obviously the next major step for you is to move your family back to utah but in terms of football what's the next major to-do item on your agenda yeah, it's getting ready for spring ball, and and um, you know having having Coach Detmer and Coach Tuyaki establish what they want to do as far as foundation on the defense and offense, and then Ed establishing that in the defensive backfield, but also with the special teams. And so we we start in in a month spring ball, and and um, yeah, put the pads on and and hit and get tougher and get stronger, and uh, yeah, it, it we we'll just go through the next process, and in the meantime, we'll keep recruiting. What have you learned so far in the six weeks as head coach that maybe surprised you? Just love BYU, I really do, and and um, I've, I, it's it's been really it's been fast like crazy, but I've enjoyed every second of it, and um, it's just you know just the, from the fans, Cougar Nation, everything about it has just been really impressive to me, and and it's been humbling being in this position, but. Yeah, I really want to win because of what, what we're going through, and I think it's really motivating for the players. I know it is for me as a head coach, and it, I know it's for our coaching staff the same way. Sometimes the process of putting together a staff and getting all that finalized, man, it, it, it's, it's hard not to be impatient because you just want to get going and have everybody in place. But are you, are you set now? Is everything where it needs to be for you to move forward in terms of a staff? Yeah, we, we have a couple um, support staff members that are, will be joining us soon, and um, – you know, they'll, they'll, we'll announce those in the next little bit. But for the most part, we have our, our coaches and we have enough to start working on getting things going. We've had our strength coach, Nuu Tafisi, working with our guys and they're, and they're killing it in the weight room and killing it in the running. And so um, we as coaches need to start joining them. We, we have our fitness goals that are due, you know, next week and we're going to start working out and trying to work off all the all the uh, the recruiting, being on the road that many, all those t- all that time, last six weeks. And, 
you know, I'm trying to get working on it. But, yeah, we're excited to get the, the football program in full swing. Is Jamal Williams enrolled this semester? Yes, and he's doing a great job. And he's, uh, he, he is motivated to be great. And I, I, I'm, I've been really fired up with what I'm seeing from him. So, yeah, he's, he's taking the leadership role of the team, and, and he's running with it. And so we're excited to, to have him back. And, and I, just, I love having him on the team. He's, he's a, I mean, I don't know. He's unique. He's different. <laughs> oh, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. Can say yeah. that. But it's fun. And, and I, I just, he's genuine, and he's himself, which is I, I encourage him to be that. And what's the recruitment like of, of Taysom Hill? Or, or is there? Is that just his decision? Or are you saying, hey, we'd love to have you? Or? Oh, yeah, we, we, we need Taysom, you know. And so that's the um, – I've spoken to him uh, a number of times, and I think that, you know, he's going through this process. I think he'd be a be better, you know, better person to speak to. But I just know that we love him and we want him to be part of our football program, and we're, we're, we're better with him on our team. Speaking of Jamal Williams, his mom at UCLA grad 90, Nicole chiming in on Twitter saying, I like, in regards to the recruiting class, got some big boys. <laughs> She's very loud on Twitter, and we appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> and I, what is it like to have uh, those type of relationships with the parents where they feel so at home to just be able to chime in and tweet in whatever they want, whenever they want? Well, it's nice having their support, and then it, it – it goes from their sons onto the family, and and it's it's nice getting the support. I actually need to call her and talk to her because, we with everything that's going on, we haven't had much time to really connect with all the parents. But you can talk to we, her right now. We are gonna do that. <laughs> Hello, and, and and I'm getting back to you. Yeah, so we're gonna take care of your son, and you know we, we for everyone on our team, we're take care of our guys, and uh, just it you know it helps having bigger guys block for the running backs, and I know all those running backs will appreciate. It. I know Algie and. Jamal and, and the whole crew will enjoy having our guys be bigger and stronger up front as far as getting knocked, knocked back on the line of scrimmage. We'll end with this, Coach. I know a lot of people are excited about the Royal, and you're rocking a Royal blue polo right now. What kind? Of, what role will Royal play moving forward for BYU football? It just feels right. You know, I, I mean, I, I'll wear anything with a Y on it, that, that's, no matter what shade of blue it is, but um, this is just feels right for me. And so I, I'll, you know, I don't have a problem with the other stuff. I just... Why not? Ha why not adopt it into our deal? It's been it's been ours for so long, anyways. So why don't have a you know an accent color that I choose to wear more often than the others? No bibs. No, please. <laughs> I I wore the bibs, <laughs> and it's yeah. Don't do that ever. Uh, I don't mean to you know frown on whoever did it or, or thought the idea, sure, but sure, why not? Yeah. No, no, no offense, but just don't bring that back. <laughs> Good well, to we've know. got the royal blue blue goggles on set just for I you, see coach. Yeah. So, uh, All right, we'll yeah. those are for you. You can keep those. Really, yeah. I think, yeah. I think yeah. Coach Tuyaki would like them. <laughs> yeah, <better than> I. <laughs> yeah. But we, we, now, we have now Dave, Rose Dave Rose and, now, and Kalani and Satake. Oh, did he do? Yeah, I loved yeah. Coach Rose. So, yeah, if he wore this, did he take them? This. I don't know if we gave him to Dave. I'm, we need to I'm, give him I'm, I'm taking this. Yeah. Okay. These, yeah. I think he said well if they deserved. won the league, he'd, he'd wear them more often. <laughs> Coach Detmer would look cool in this. Maybe I'll let him <laughs> try it on, too. Yeah. We got plenty. You take those with you. Oh, Coach, great to have you in studio, B. Congratulations on a great recruiting period, and we look forward to the future. Enjoyed it, guys. Thank you so much. Go Cougars.